All right, everybody. This is my 20 gallon, soon to be new red clawed crab tank. I'm setting it up. I used bleach to get it all sterilized. And when I use the bleach, I use the bleach that is splashless and therefore it contains a surfactant. And I've said before if you use this bleach with a surfactant, make sure you give a good thorough rinse and everything. I'm going to update that statement and say don't use bleach that has surfactant in it. Don't ever use splashless bleach. I have done 10 water changes on this tank, and I mean drained it and refilled it water changes. Completely drained it and refilled it. I've gotten in there, I've scrubbed the rocks around with my hands, I've rinsed water in while I was draining it. That's why all these rocks are piled up over here. Yesterday I got in there again and scrubbed everything around with my hands and got everything stirred up and did another big full dump and refill. And... I mean, I'm just, that's suds. That's not just bubbles on the water. This is soap suds. And this is, I don't know, 10 days after I rinsed it with the bleach. And I have rinsed it and rinsed it and rinsed it. Now, I just gave a little sniff and I don't smell any odor at all. So I'm not concerned about the bleach. The bleach is long gone. Um... It's the surfactant that I'm worried about. Uh, people tend to be overly frightened of bleach. It's really, really deadly dangerous stuff if you use it incorrectly. But if you know what you're doing with bleach and you use it uh, effectively, it's really good, helpful stuff, and it's not scary and dangerous. It's this surfactant, the soap, if you will. You just want to use, you know, sort of simplified terms and call it the soap that's in there that makes it thick and prevents it from splashing that's what the killer in this case is going to be if i put fish in this tank with that much again i'll call it soap they'd be dead in minutes probably so i don't know what to do other than possibly <clears throat> excuse me get rid of all this substrate and start over uh one of the things that concerns me is this substrate is designed to be biologically active so it's got very 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 fine pores in it. It's a, it's a microporous material. So I'm thinking with it being a microporous material and me soaking the tank for days with the, you know, bleach water with the surfactant in there, I may have just completely ruined this substrate. And the more I think about it, the more I'm probably not even willing to take a chance. It'll cost me about $20 to replace the substrate. But you know, what cost would be killing all the fish I put in this tank to find out, like, nope, still can't use it. So I think I'm probably going to have to rethink this and get that substrate out of the tank. I still want to do a video talking specifically about that substrate. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Uh, I'm in the process of, like, sort of shifting over the way I'm doing things again. Um, so I'm going to get back on track here soon enough. I just wanted to shoot this one because I think this is a fairly important topic to address. I really thought that that surfactant would be fine, provided I knew about it, I was aware of it, and just made sure I gave a really good thorough rinse of everything. And now I'm beginning to rethink that, and I don't think that no matter how much I rinse this stuff, I don't think I'm ever going to successfully and safely rinse it out of this tank to the point where I'd feel comfortable using uh, that substrate again. So I think we're probably just going to have to start over, scrap that substrate, rinse this tank again, and start from scratch. So make sure you are subscribed. That way you won't miss any of the updates I got coming up on this tank and any of the other stuff I got working on. Like I said, I got some changes coming up. I'm going to start redoing the way uh, I'm shooting my YouTube videos and everything else. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of that. Don't forget this one is going to be my red clawed crab tank. Thanks again. I'll see you real soon.